Acute inflammation is the body's immediate response to injury or infection. The initial step represents a series of vascular changes. Vasodilation, mediated by histamine and nitric oxide, starts in the arterioles and moves into the capillary beds close to the site of injury. This is responsible for the heat and redness seen in inflammation. Vasodilation causes the flow of blood to slow down and allows large white blood cells, or leukocytes, to move towards the walls of the vessel in a process called margination. Chemical signals released from the site of injury cause changes to the endothelial wall of the vessel. The endothelial cells contract, allowing fluid into the surrounding tissues through the gaps in the cells and resulting in one of the clinical signs of inflammation, swelling, or oedema. The endothelial cells are also stimulated to start expressing selectin and ICAM proteins on their surface. Selectins bind to glycoproteins on the surface of cells and ICAM proteins bind to integrin, protein expressed on the surface of leukocytes. These allow the leukocytes to bind to the walls of the vessel. This binding is weak and the connections between the leukocytes and vessel walls frequently break and reform. This results in leukocytes slowly rolling along the vessel walls. Chemokines will bind with the leukocyte to activate it, which induces a change in the structure of integrin. This change makes it bind ICAM tightly. The leukocyte stops rolling once it's tightly bound and flattens against the vessel wall. The leukocyte crosses the vessel wall by extending its pseudopods through the gaps, pulling themselves through and into the extravascular space. This process is known as diapodesis. Once in the extravascular space, the leukocyte begins to migrate to the site of injury by following a chemical gradient. A common signaling chemical is C5A of the complement system. Concentrations of C5A are highest where the tissue is injured. This process of following increasing chemical concentrations to the injury is called chemotaxis. Once the leukocyte arrives at the site of injury, it goes into action to clear and prevent infection by releasing cytokines or phagocytosing material. Neutrophils, the main leukocyte present in acute inflammation, primarily acts through phagocytosis. These vascular and cellular changes combine to result in the clinical signs of inflammation. <laughs>